friends, it's Miss Terry, and I'm here on the playground at the rock climbing wall. You're probably wondering why am I here? I'm not going to climb. But if I were going to climb, I would need something to help keep me safe. Climbers use something like this called a carabiner. It's a latch that hooks on. And if this were a real mountain, something I really wanted to climb, there would be a big rope and I would hook on and I would have a harness like your seatbelt almost that goes around me. And I would have a rope that connected me to the rope up there. And this carabiner would help to keep me safe. So why am I talking about this for Sunday school? You know, there's so many things right now that keep us safe. Things like our masks, things like wipes, things like our parents. Many things keep us safe. But in Paul's letter to the Romans, which we've been talking about, in the 8th chapter, he says that God can keep us safe. Now that doesn't mean that nothing bad will ever happen, but it means that when bad things happen, that God is there for us and that God will help us. Sometimes God can use bad things to make good things happen. So God's love can't be separated from us. We can't be separated from God and his love. And that's what Paul tells us in the eighth chapter of Romans that we've been studying. That we can hold on tight to God's love and God holds on tight to us just like a climber can be held on tight with this carabiner. Now I use this carabiner not for rock climbing because I don't know if you know, I am not really a rock climber. I use it to hold my keys. These are actually my church keys. And I hook it onto my pocketbook or my book bag or anything that I have so I don't lose it. And God holds on to us. He doesn't lose us. We don't need to lose him. We don't need to lose hope. We don't need to lose God's love because it's always there for us. And that's what Paul tries to tell his friends, the Romans, in the eighth part of his letter. This week during Sunday school, there'll be a few activities to talk about separating and enjoying God's love. And this is the end of our series on the Romans. So next week, it'll be time for the youth to lead our service. And then we're going to be talking about some prophets. And we'll talk more about that later. Hope you have a good week. I miss you guys. And one day soon, maybe we'll be back here and we'll even be on the playground. Until then, love you. Praying for you. Bye.